I bought the KO Moto controller for my Suron X over a month ago and I still have yet to install this thing. In fact, as you guys can tell, I haven't even opened it up and there's a lot of good reasons for that. Although all the amazing things you hear about KO, there are a few downfalls that I have to talk about today. Things you may want to consider before buying this thing. So let's hop into why this is still in the package and why I'm thinking about selling it actually. And I bought the controller about a month ago now, well actually a little over a month ago now. It shipped in like a week, got here super, super fast, and I was really excited to put it on my bike. I realized I couldn't put it on my bike for a few reasons. The first reason is, so I have an aftermarket battery right here, right? It's a 72 volt chai, chai battery, 38 amp hour, an amazing battery. But this battery does not have, as you can tell, I just turned it on, it just has a percent meter. And this percent meter is so inaccurate that it's, it's kind of funny actually. I don't even know why they put that on there, honestly. And whenever you have an aftermarket battery, you have to measure its level of charge by the amount of volts that it actually has in it. With the KO controller here, you can't use an aftermarket display without probably doing some crazy stuff, or at least I'm not smart enough for that. I don't know how to do that. If I'm spending that kind of money, I would prefer for it to just work. And because you have to use the stock display, this is the egg rider, and because you gotta use the stock display with the KO controller there, I would not be able to to see the charge on my aftermarket battery nor would I be able to see my motor temperature which is really unfortunate because I'm still running the stock motor it gets hot very fast especially with the 72 volt and the BAC 4000 on here running at 9000 watts I have to keep an eye on the motor temperature on hot summer days and whatnot really every day that I ride the thing and that is the first main reason I did not I have yet to even open up the KO moto controller package is because I didn't go with the motor because I wanted to wait for now. The motor wasn't shipping at the time. I went ahead and ordered the controller. Me being stupid, I didn't do my research. I just, it was new, shiny. I wanted it so bad. I was going to take this off and sell it. And now, I don't even know what to do, honestly, man. I know that these controllers and their motors are capable of everything that they say they are. That I saw a video of a 20 kilowatt one the other day, just absolutely ripping. But unless you have the motor to where you don't have to worry about the motor getting hot, the stock motor and melting that thing, then it's really kind of sketchy to run the stock display. And I would much rather run the egg rider for now and just be able to see all the information I need to see right there on the screen on the bike. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's not a big deal. Surely there's an app that you can can connect to and yeah there's an app but only for android i unfortunately don't have android and i'm not going to go buy an android device just to download an app just to install that controller they've told me many times i'm in their discord that they're working on an ios app i don't know where it's at i fully believe that it's coming out but it still hasn't come out yet so even if i had to run the stock display if i could connect to the ios if they had an ios app that i could connect to that would be fine i would be more than happy to use my phone as the display to see what voltage my battery's on and how hot my motor is and everything like that like i said the app is only on android so if you got an android you're good to go if you got an iphone I don't know, man. Now, the last bit of information that I can give you guys is I have talked to them and I've been asking so many times. So in KO's Discord, they leaked, well, I, I guess it was a leak because it's since been deleted, but there was a message post saying that they were coming out with their own display. Like I said, it's since been deleted, so I can't really find any information on that, but I asked the KO guys and they said it is confirmed there's a display coming out and it's supposed to be one of the best ones on the market. Not seen any pictures or anything, but once that comes out, we should be good to throw the KO controller on. But that leads me back to why I was thinking about selling it. I mean, until that display comes out or until an iOS app comes out, which there's no ETA on, that thing's just a thousand dollars sitting in a package right there. And if I sell it as the controller, which somebody could just throw on their stock bike, use the stock display, not have to know any of the aftermarket stuff because you don't really have to worry about it with just a controller and stock battery and motor. Also, just another side note I gotta tell you guys about. So originally, since this is the 2022, it's the black edition. Well, the black edition, it just only comes in black. I was originally going with a black and purple build. I had purple down here on the valve stem caps. I was trying to get purple of all that stuff. I had purple bars and I wanted to get the whole nine yards in purple and black. 
But then when KO come out, came out, they only had red and blue. So I immediately started switching everything over to blue so I could match that. And then lo and behold, if I was just more patient, they came out with a purple and black kit, a limited edition motor kit right after they launched the regular one, which whatever, dude, but uh, I really wish I could have got that. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on the KO Moto controller. Now, like I said, I love KO. They've been awesome every time I've talked to them, answered all my questions, but I just had to let everybody know before you spend that kind of money, what you're getting right now, because like I said, I can't use that right now. It's very unfortunate. If one of you guys want to buy it from me, hit me up on Instagram or something. I'll leave it linked below. Yeah, KO is awesome. They've been awesome to me. Every video I've seen, people love their products, and I would love to get the motor and controller installed at some point. But until they come out with an iOS app or their own screen, I can't do that. Let me know if you guys have a KO installed on your Suron or if you plan on ever getting one. That's really going to wrap it up for this one. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one. I just opened up the package. Had to get a cool picture, but check this thing out, man. It is so clean. And also looking at the cables reminded me to tune the bike. Also, you have to hook it up to a PC right now, unless I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do it on the app if you have an Android, but if you don't, you have to hook the bike up to the PC to tune it. And it has to be a laptop, or it doesn't have to be a laptop, but it cannot be, it has to be a Windows operating system. It can't be a MacBook, I'm pretty sure, anything like that. So yeah, it's just really hard to tune this thing as of right now, once it's installed on the bike, because it has to be hooked up to a PC. And it's not just like the Emoto Bros BAC 4000 here, you know, you can just change some stuff on the settings on your phone, hit save, and it's done and saved. Just something else you gotta keep in mind.